what's good y'all it's your boy ross back out again with another video so there's been some interesting things that have happened as of recent like within the past few hours or whatnot uh you guys are hitting me up on instagram twitter and um Apparently, Vince is maybe in a little bit more deeper water than we thought. So, we're going to check this article out by CNBC. And we're going to get into it, man. Uh, WWE's Vince McMahon paid more than $12 million to settle sexual misconduct allegations, report says. This is very big. Uh, we knew something was going on where potentially he paid off some people millions, but now we're, we're getting a good estimate, a good number, and that's a lot of money to pretty much tell somebody to be quiet. So let's get right into it, see what Vinnie Mac, Vince McMahon, uh, you know, was really, you know, really getting down and dirty with. <laughs> WWE Vince McMahon paid more than $12 million to four women over the past 16 years to suppress allegations of sexual misconduct and infidelity according to a report by the wall street journal the women were all formerly affiliated with the world wrestling entertainment the journal reported citing people familiar with the agreements and documents the newspaper reported in june that wwe board was investigating a secret three million dollar settlement that was the original thing. It was just three million dollars, which is still a lot of money. Now it's bumped up to twelve between four different women. In June, the WWE board investigated a secret uh, three million dollar settlement McMahon paid to a paralegal he allegedly had an affair with. In its report Friday, the Journal reported three additional hush money payments between 2006 and 2018. One for. 7.5 million to a former wrestler who alleged mcmahon coerced her into giving him oral sex and later declined to renew her contract oh i thought durag vince was a menace vince just himself without the durag was a menace oh man this is it's definitely heating up this is all allegedly but still definitely heating up uh uh, to renew her contract after she resisted subsequent sexual encounters another for one million to a woman who had worked uh, uh, as a wwe contractor and said she received unsolicited nude photos from mcmahon and a third in the amount of about one million to a former manager who worked with McMahon for a decade. WWE did not respond to CNBC's request for a comment on the latest allegations. Of course, they're not going to respond about that. Um, WWE announced last month that McMahon was stepping back from his role as CEO uh, and chairman, but retaining responsibilities related to the company's creative content, pending an investigation into his alleged misconduct. His daughter, Stephanie McMahon, was named interim CEO. I have pledged to... Uh, I have pledged my complete cooperation to the investigation by the special committee, and I will do everything possible to support the investigation, McMahon said in the release, in the release uh, at the time. I have also pledged to accept the findings and outcome of the investigation, whatever they are. WWE's board uh, is investigating McMahon's deal with the wrestler and the former paralegal, the journal reported. The WWE board is also investigating allegations against WWE executive John Laurinaitis, a.k.a. People Power, who used to wrestle under the name Johnny Ace. The investigation, which began in April, was set uh, off by several anonymous emails that threatened to reveal details of the settlement between McMahon and the former paralegal The Journal reported. WWE share prices uh, we're down about 1% at $64.21 uh, $64, Friday. Man, oh man, God, whoo. Uh, <laughs> this is this is definitely increased in intensity. My man Vince McMahon was out here getting domed up and not renewing contracts. And then say, you know what? I'm going to just need you to hush up. Here's some hush money in Shh, be quiet, okay? All right? <laughs> I can't believe Vince. Vince out here sending the nudes, man. <laughs> after he didn't worked up an appetite, after he worked out, 
You know what I'm saying? I want to, I'm willing to bet. <laughs> this is how fucked up I am. I'm willing to bet. Y'all know Vince McMahon's office with the giant T-Rex skull. I wonder if he was out there sending nudes in the boardroom, in that specific room, or maybe getting a blowjob while she's looking up behind him and sees the T-Rex. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but all seriousness, all, 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 let me be serious. Let me see, be serious. This is, uh, this is very interesting. And I said before, this is something I could see happening. I mean, Vince McMahon is very powerful when it comes to money, very powerful when it comes to a legal team. And for him, it was probably easier to just throw $7 million or in total $12 million away. Like, here you go. $12 million to Vince is not that much. I'm letting you guys know this now. It's not a lot to him. It's not. Most million, higher million to billionaires, $12 million is like 12 cents. They don't really care. So it's just, eh, hush money. And I'm I'm willing to bet, if you guys want to be honest, and maybe I'm getting into my conspiracy bag, a lot of the higher-ups in a lot of these companies, they be into some weird shit. And they be doing a lot of weird stuff or some uh, stuff that probably, you know, people wouldn't like. And guess what? They just pay people off. Because at the end of the day, a lot of these people know they not going to win in court because they have, they sometimes even have the judge in their pocket. They have the, the court system in their pocket. They have the police in their pocket. So it's really about who you know and how much money you have. So for them, throwing away a few $12 million for Vince ain't nothing. So I'm not saying that he did this. This is all speculation. But I don't put it past him. It's, I don't. I don't put it past him because he has that much money. And, you know, there are a lot of attractive women that come into WWE. Hell, most of them get hired for their attractiveness rather than their skill set. So, you know, I could see him maybe trying to coerce a former wrestler into doing something. And, you know, she's tired of doing this. She wants to get her contract extended. He's like, nah, I'm good. I'm just paying too much money. Get the fuck up out of here. So, I don't know. I, I, I do see this plausibly being something that Vince would do you know unfortunate it's an unfortunate situation certain people use their power and leverage they have in a company uh to take advantage of people and that is not cool you know what I'm saying so this is just one of those type of things we still gonna have to see how it plays out but yeah he had to step out there was no there was no way especially more stuff coming out like this he definitely had to step down now I want to make a comment Someone had commented on the last time we talked about this, like, oh, this is this is Vince McMahon. He created wrestling. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it don't matter. Like, y'all should show more respect for Vince McMahon. That comment made me lose brain cells. It doesn't matter if it's Vince McMahon. It doesn't matter who it is. Abusing your power like this is not right. People have been doing it for many, many years now, but we live in a social media age where people have receipts. It's not okay what Vince was doing. It's, it's not. It's not okay. Simple as that. What, whether you look at it as, oh, well, they got paid to be quiet, but now they're not being quiet. It doesn't matter. Still not okay. Even if they accepted the money or whatnot, it's not cool. All I know is stuff like this could definitely ruin your legacy. Vince didn't create wrestling, by the way. Let's, let's not let's not get into that notion either. Like, oh, he created wrestling. No. He's a an important part in wrestling, especially in the United States. But let's not just act like the motherfucker invented wrestling. Like, cut it. Cut the malarkey. The point I'm trying to make here is at the end of the day, if these allegations are true, this is messed up on Vince. This is messed up on Vince. I'm not going to be a guy that has this high moral standpoint. Like, I've never done anything bad or, you know, never done anything that, you know, wasn't, you know, wasn't, you know, my parents or, you know, people I care about would be proud of. But I've never done this. I've never abused any type of power I had over anybody else because at the end of the day, it, it's, it's not a cool situation. So, once again, this is all allegedly and to that individual that thought Vince is God and he can never do no wrong. You need help, my brother, because we're seeing right now this dude is not <laughs> who everybody thinks he is. He's probably a cool guy, probably a cool guy to work with. But for certain women, that may not have been the case. 
You know what I'm saying? And there's been other stories where people have had some, you know, not savory things to say about Vince. You know, and not everybody's perfect or anything like that. But this ain't good. No matter how you spin it, this is not good. So, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about these new allegations that came out. Do you believe this report? Do you believe Vince McMahon would do something like this? Shell out $12, 000, $12 million in hush money to certain people do you believe he would do things like this or do you think this is all some bs and they're just trying to take vince mcmahon down and it's all a grand conspiracy let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support on the channel road to 90k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace